River Walk is a coast style um, blonde ale and it will have some nice uh, fruity flavors to it, um, some well, nice balance to it. Um, let's take a drink and mm -hmm. go from there. It's a little malty, no, not very high on the hops. So it's a real balanced beer that people will enjoy drinking, especially if they're looking to get into the craft beers. Right. Without being scared away. So it's something that you could drink. We also call it our lawnmower beer um, so that people can drink it while they're working in the yard. Um, it did finally come in, get tested, and it's at 6% alcohol. So it's not too big, but right. not, not your Coors Light. Nice, clean, and crisp flavors, yes. right? And yes. Leslie Brown is a American, you can almost call it an Imperial Brown, American Brown Ale. Um, it's 9.5%. Um, try to remember the IBUs. Uh, about 48 IBUs, I think, is where it's come in at. So it's not terribly bitter, but it's well balanced. Um, for being 9.5%, it uh -huh. won't taste it. You'll get um, chocolate notes from the smell and aroma, and I'm definitely in the taste, and it's nice and malty, and you won't taste the alcoholness of it. You get a lot of chocolate on the nose, yeah. I mean, yes. if, it, if you blindfolded me, I would say this, this could almost be, you know, a reporter. You so, know. the American Brown Ale style is a kind of a newer one, and Actually, the Imperial Brown is not mm. really recognized yet much, it's so it's uh, something that's coming out, and very few breweries actually put out a Imperial or even American Brown Ale. Uh -huh. This is not your Newcastle. So, nice and dark. Taste that one, Paul. Yeah, it's really great maltiness and um, chocolate. And I, I'm, I love a malty beer that's balanced with hops, which is, this, you know, this has. It's definitely malty and chocolatey, but it's a little hoppier than, a, you know, a porter would be or whatever. Correct. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. So Jasmine's one of our seasonals that we recently came out with, and it's uh, based on the pale ale style, but we've kind of kept the hop bitterness and hop flavor aroma a little bit to the background, and we put... Um, a bunch of jasmine flowers to about four pounds per batch is going into it. Um, like fresh jasmine flowers? Uh, they're or organic or dr dried jasmine organic, flowers. Yeah. When we brew it, the aroma coming out of the kettle, out of the brew house is just intense jasmine. Yeah. Wow. Um, so we went for the beer has jasmine flavors, jasmine aroma, you know, you get it all the way through. Um, but, you know, it's not overpowering to the point where it's not undrinkable. You know, it's very well drinkable, and you'll enjoy it. You know, when we did a couple pilot batches of it, people were like, I want a growler fill of that. And I was like, no, we're trying to share this with many people. Um, so we finally released it, and people have been going, and it's gaining some momentum now. It's really nice. It's clean. It's um, mm, crisp. Yeah, and really unique. and like sort of honey like right yes. so it's a very simple beer but it's still got some complexity to it and what do the grains right. of paradise add that adds some peppery and lemon lemony uh -huh. lemon flavors and more flavors to it so mm. it's really good